We've been waiting for a Sony OLED TV for quite some time now, but we could never have expected the Brave A1 series. Announced at CES 2017, it was certainly one of the highlights of the show, bringing this TV technology to Sony in typical Sony style. It has stunning pictures, Dolby Vision support, super thin form factor and other trademark traits of the imaging tech but none of them quite grabbed our attention as its audio capabilities. Rather than opt for an integrated or separate sound bar, like other manufacturers, the new Sony TV uses its own screen as a giant speaker, a technology the company calls acoustic surface. It vibrates and therefore sends sound directly to your listening position, amazing and bonkers in equal measure and instantly raising more questions than answers. So many questions, in fact, that we've seen the TV for a second time. We knew the visuals were stunning from our first encounter, which we'll talk about a little more below, but let's address the elephant in the room first. Sound, turning the screen into a speaker immediate begs the question of whether the vibration will downgrade the quality of the picture. In fact, it's difficult to imagine how picture quality can be maintained with audio vibration coming though the same panel. However, like some sort of witchcraft, standing in front front of the Brave A1 in Sony Europe's headquarters, we were treated to an audio demo and given the chance to listen, watch and touch. You can feel the screen vibrating, but you can't see it vibrating. Even at louder volumes, the visuals remain sharp, which is an impressive feat. Sitting behind the display were pairs of actuators. They are integrated into the design of the rear, positioned left and right behind the display. If you look at the back of the A1, aside from the massive subwoofer stand, there's a bar running across the back, which is where these embedded actuators live. Impressively, offering left and right actuators means a stereo separation can be made, and the idea is that in dialogue you'll have a degree of separation between those who are talking. Flipping to the rear side, the stand isn't all subwoofer, but it is all mesh cover that looks like subwoofer, 